Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, make a quick video showing the various um, queen decrees. Uh, we seem to struggle with them still. Um, <clears throat> it's not a big deal if you guys get just a couple of stacks, you know, two, three stacks of sanction isn't going to be a big deal. But um, it's when you get a whole bunch of stacks, nine, ten, even seven and eight, it starts to make it pretty hard. Uh, to where we can't do the transition right so uh, I went through the footage and found all the decrees that I got uh, I have yet to receive one combo and that is the uh, stay and stack mechanic um, now I do have footage of somebody getting that uh, so I can show you but um, I just wanted to go through real quick just again these are just on the progression pulls that we've done so the first one uh, that we're going to talk about is stay and stay is exactly what it sounds like you'll get a purple ring around your character and you can't move now i take that very literally literally and don't move but you have this entire ring of space so when the decree comes out if you get don't move or stay or whatever it's called um you can run around in this ring right here you just can't move outside of it the minute you move outside of it, you'll start to take sanction stacks. So when you get this weak aura popping up, you just can't move out of this circle. Um, this is an odd combo, but I have gotten it before. It's solo don't soak. Uh, the reason it's relevant is because you can see the little orb above my head, and you can also see it in the debuff list here. Um, but that does mean that if I was to take an orb, even if I'm just trying to help out because it's not being soaked, I mean, if an orb's not being soaked, obviously it's better to take the sanction stacks. But if you're with a group that's already soaking, um, then you're going to start to take sanction stacks. So um, this is a possibility. It's kind of a random one. I think I've only gotten this one once, uh, but just be aware that it can happen. So again, solo and don't soak. You'll get a little um, animation above your head that'll be blocked out by your chat bubble, but whatever. Um... Solo in March, we've seen, for some reason, people struggle with this one. Um, that means that you need to stand by yourself, and you got to keep moving. Um, when you get this, there's this little lightning ball that follows you. Um, and if you get hit by the lightning, you'll take um, sanction stacks. It's as simple as that. Uh, so you can see I get cornered here. There's somebody also trying to keep moving, and I run back into the lightning, and then, boom, you see it. Two stacks of sanction right there just because I tried to double back somewhere. So again, if you get hit by that lightning, it's going to give you sanctioned stacks. Solo is very easy. Um, this is my favorite one to get, although you can see that a whole bunch of people got it <laughs> during this pull and we kind of didn't know what to do. A couple of people had to keep moving, so I was trying to move away from them. But uh, with Solo, you just do exactly that. You stay by yourself. You don't, you don't need to, to worry about anything. You can just be alone. So this is solo, but I went ahead and, um, is this the wrong clip? Did I, did I clip the wrong clip? Hold on. Let's see what this one is. The clip's longer than it needs to be. Okay. There it goes. Solo soak. So this is, you need to stand by yourself, but you also need to soak an orb. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, um, this is one that we struggle with a lot and, um, it, it really isn't that bad when you turn nameplates on cause then you can see where everybody is. Um, we have a stack group assigned, uh, usually to the green marker that's closest to the console. Um, this clip's a little long, sorry. I can't really pause it yet. Um, but when the decree comes out, so you see this buff right here, this debuff right here, and then you see the lone wolf icon. So my nameplates are going to go up and I'm going to look for people that aren't standing currently in purple circles or purple orbs, I should say. So when this goes out, you can see somebody, two people really have standalone. One of them is going to go ahead and soak an orb. The stat group should be around here or here or here. We should leave an, uh, an orb group open. 
So you can see an orb here and an orb here. Now notice the debuff's been going for four seconds. I haven't yet received sanctioned stacks. So I'm going to find an orb. I notice that people are going to start moving into this orb. I see this one free up. There's already someone here. There's nobody here. So I'm going to run there. Now this guy, uh, this is Yahtzee. She was going to try to take this one, but luckily she saw me with Solo Soak and she, addressed, uh, she adjusted and was going to go to the stack group. So that was a good job by her. I get into the orb. As soon as I'm in the orb and soak it, you can see the soak debuff has worn off. So I no longer have that decree. So now my only uh, decree from Queen Ashara is solo. <clears throat> I apologize. My only decree from Ashara is solo now. So um, you need to wait for that purple debuff to go away, though. The weak aura sometimes will disappear, sometimes it won't. Honestly, it's probably just better to glance at your debuffs to see what's going on there. So that's solo soak. I apologize for my voice. So this is an odd decree that has gone out as well, and I, I only see it a handful of times, but just in case you get it, this is just don't soak. So it's not solo, it's not stack and soak, it's stack and zone, don't soak, it's not any of that, it's just a decree that has gone out that says don't soak. So I could have done anything I wanted to here, I could have stacked with the group, I could have uh, found somebody that maybe had stay and stack, um, I didn't see anybody, everybody looked like they were getting orbs, so all my job was to do is to just not touch the orbs. Here's another solo soak, just to see what it looks like. So you can see Demetrius moves into one. Now again, it's been t the buff had been ticking for a while at this point. Let's just watch this again. All right, so the debuff goes out. It's got 20 seconds on it. I have to make a quick move. I see Demetrius start to move to this one, and this orb, this orb, and this orb all get taken. Now, I still have the soak orb debuff, so if I don't start soaking soon, I'm going to take stacks. Still haven't gotten any. Still haven't gotten any. There's the sanctioned stack. So the sanctioned stack came out. I ended up getting two stacks. An orb did free up, though, so I was able to move into it. Now, I get the orb soaked. The sanction stops. The suffer debuff goes away, and now I'm just stuck with solo. Okay, so there's got to be something that correlates between the number of soaking ticks that you take versus the um, actual act of just standing there. Because what we've noticed is that you can stand near an orb, or in an orb rather, and seemingly still have the suffer debuff. So there's got to be some type of correlation between the amount of ticks of damage that you take from soaking the orb versus not. And that is what is going to trigger the debuff to go away. Uh, we'll get to that later when we talk about uh, stack and soak. Here's another simple decree. This is just stack. You just need to find people and stack with them. Now, I didn't have soak. That's okay. I see a group here. They're stacked. I'm taking arcane orb damage. Um, but I didn't get the sanction stacks from that. I got sanction stacks from not being with people. Let's watch that again just to make sure. You shouldn't get sanctioned sex just for soaking. It, 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 should, it should have been just from me not being with people. So these clips are a little long. All right, so here's the stack. Calls out. Three seconds. Six seconds. Five seconds. I'm still not stacked. There's a sanctioned stack. There's a stack of the sanctioned stack again. And now I go with the people. Now again, I took a couple of, to uh, of ticks of the orb. Um, but I still stayed stacked. And, um, and end up working out. Now, why do you not want me, a guy who just has stack, running into your orb group? Well, with me taking ticks of the orb, that might tick away their uh, suffer debuff. Not a, uh, Their suffer debuff might not go away. Uh, I might be stealing stacks that they need. So you really don't want to have to soak with orb soakers. Um, but in this case, uh, I just made a judgment call and, and went to it. But again, you want to leave the orb for the people that actually need to take the orb damage to get rid of that suffer debuff. Okay, so this is an interesting one. This is stay, but I went ahead and soaked an orb as well because I noticed nobody was there. So again, I turned the nameplates on. I get stay, but there's an orb over here. So someone has solo move, and they move away. And so I just go ahead and take this orb. Now notice I'm not taking... 
I'm not taking any um, sanction stacks because I didn't move out of my circle and the group lived because I was able to soak that orb. So if you're in a pinch and you notice something like that, go ahead and um, you know make that judgment call. But again, that was kind of a, a perfect storm, as it were, um, of just getting an orb right next to me when I had to stay debuff. So again, he's going to move past me. Pop-Tart's going to realize that he doesn't need to be near me, and I'm going to go ahead and leash off that orb. Now notice when you're soaking the orb that there is a little debuff that you get. Um, it went away. Okay. This is stack and soak. <clears throat> this is the trickiest one to handle. So what we ended up doing is orbs that were ended up being closest to the console, orbs that ended up being closest to the console uh, is where our stack group was supposed to be. Now we hadn't made that adjustment yet. So here I am. There's the orb debuff and the suffer debuff. Now the orb debuff you see is gone, but I still have suffer. So I'm stacked, which is correct. But notice I'm taking sanction stacks. That's because I'm still under the influence of suffer. There's no orbs to soak. So I end up taking nine stacks. You cannot immune these stacks. You can't do anything with them. So I went ahead and bubbled here. Notice that my debuff uh, wasn't going to wear off in time. So I ended up having to spam myself. So um, this is a tricky one. Um, maybe I moved out of the sphere of influence of the orb, even though you can still see the orb here. Maybe too many people came and soaked. And they just ate up all of the orb and it just, you know, wasn't enough damage for me to get rid of suffer. But this is the hardest uh, RNG element that you'll have to deal with is the stack soak mechanic. Um, I don't know why this didn't publish. See if this comes back. All right. So here you see help soak, help soak, help soak. There's the orb debuff right there. There's the suffer debuff. Suffer goes away and the orb goes away. And I'm left with stack. Okay, let's look at that again. There's the decree. Stand together and suffer. I find the stack group. They're all over here. I don't know why a solo person's with us. They need to have found their own orb. Sorry, I was too prefixed on that. Okay. And now notice I still had... There's the orb. There's the suffer. They both go away at the same time. So there's got to be something that ticked that over. I took enough ticks of damage to have fulfilled the requirement. So you're going to have to keep an eye out for that because the weak orb doesn't track that, but your debuffs just in the standard UI will. And here's stay and stack. Now this isn't on me, but it is on someone else. You can see them screaming, help stay, help stay. So what you need to know is for this decree when it goes out, and it is a son of a bitch when it comes out, um, somebody is going to be affected with the don't move debuff, and then they are also going to be afflicted with stack. If you have stack and don't soak or stack only, you need to go find that person or those people. So again, you can see somebody was kind enough. A couple people come over and help their buddy out. They didn't have the soak debuff, or maybe they did have the soak decree, but their soak decree um, went away because they soaked their orb. So that's another potential that you could have is that you know you're 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 soaking, you're soaking. Okay, there goes suffer. That's done. Now I can go find somebody who's stuck. And again, that one never affected me. I haven't been affected with that combination yet. That one also seems like a pretty terrible one to get. Because if everybody's soaking orbs, you may be just left there with no one to stack with and you can't do anything about it. So either way, um, I hope this helps uh, if you're struggling with this type of stuff. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to end this awkward video. All right. Bye, guys.